This Etsy hack or trick is really going to help you, I think, if you're trying to get more traffic to your Etsy shop, uh, whether you're just starting out or you've been an Etsy veteran for a long time, I think that this little hack will really help refresh your listings and give you some place to start that will bring more traffic to your shop without having to pay to promote it. So I know that Etsy already takes a big cut out of your sale and they also want you to spend money to promote your listings, but I don't think you have to do that. If you're trying to make your way to your first 10K in business, you might be using tools like Etsy or Facebook Marketplace to sell your work for you or just take care of all the logistical stuff of, of selling your work. That way you can focus on the part you like, which is making and selling stuff. Today, we're going to be sharing with you one of our favorite little tricks. We had never thought to apply this to Etsy, but we've been using this trick for years now with our business. And it may surprise you just how easy this little trick is, but sometimes it's the little easy, no duh kind of tricks that really make a big difference. Anyway. I'll quit talking about it. Let's dive in. Right here, I am on the homepage of Etsy. So what do you see, Jenny? Um, right off the bat, I see Cyber Week savings and a big 60% off. So we're recording this right now, right at the beginning of the holiday season, um, which is why I look down like two inches below that main banner and I see advent calendars, Christmas stockings, ornaments, um, like Christmas themed name puzzles, holiday sweatshirts. So they are pushing the holidays really, really hard right now on this homepage. So why are we on the homepage? Here's the secret. Here's the whole hack. Here's the whole point of the video. I'm going to answer this question and then we're going to unpack how you can use it for your own Etsy store. So the reason we're here on the Etsy homepage is because Etsy is showing you exactly what the traffic on their website is looking for. That's it. Etsy spends tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars every month on Google ads, Facebook ads, all over the internet, trying to pull traffic into Etsy's websites. They and run. the first thing they see is this homepage. So they care a lot about what this homepage looks like. So if they're putting stuff on the homepage and driving traffic to the website, you can rest assured that the homepage is showing you what they want their shops to have. That way there's plenty of options for the customers. The customers check out, make a purchase, and are very happy with it. So the more you can make your listing look, smell, and taste like the homepage of any given season, the more likely you, your listings are to pop up. And if you're just starting out, this is a gold mine of information because you can look at uh, ideas for photos. You can look for uh, titles for, for how to name your product. I mean, the, the list goes on and on. Anyway, we're going to just dive <laughs> down the homepage. We're going to sort of look at the listings. So the first thing we see is they're really pushing gifts. Um, if we scroll past this like 60% off banner, um, we, we see advent calendars, Christmas stockings, ornaments, necklaces, name puzzles, holiday sweatshirts. We're, we're seeing a lot of items that are typical holiday gifts. So right off the bat, something that stands out to me is, oh my gosh, if you are a small business that does any of these or you sell these, you have the capability to make these, this is the time to start pushing them on Etsy because clearly this is what Etsy wants to sell to its website visitors. So if this is you, if you make any of these things, here's your sign that this time of year is probably a fantastic time to put up a listing for it. So yeah, that's the first thing is that Etsy homepage can give you ideas on what to make. I know a lot of us struggle, like I know we want to start a business and we want to make some money, but like what the heck do I even start making? What do people want to buy? Go to the Etsy homepage, it'll show you. Um, you can make Christmas stockings or advent calendars or necklaces or name puzzles if you've got a CNC. There's all sorts of ideas that you can do and it'll even give you what to call it. I know <laughs> I, for us, like we struggle a lot with like, um, specifically like on our YouTube channel, we struggle with like YouTube titles just because we want to accurately describe it. We don't want to make it sound appealing to click on. And so the Etsy homepage will show you exactly what to call your item uh, to get more clicks without having to pay to promote it. So let's keep scrolling. Like what, el what else are we seeing on this homepage? Mobiles, baby and toddler toys, sweaters. All these words need to be in your, in your product title. Again, yeah. specifically look at the left side of the screen here. They have who the gift is for. If you sell something that is geared towards uh, mothers or new mothers, uh, you maybe want to type the word newborn in your in your title. Um, Basically, I look at this on the left side of the screen and those are free keywords. They're telling me what keywords to put 
in a listing. So I would just jot these down on a piece of paper for yourself and try to, you know, put them in your listing wherever they might fit for your product. And here's how I know this works. Uh, Jenny and I, we actually discovered this trick for Etsy when we were running Google ads and I was competing with Etsy and a couple of different keywords. And I noticed all of a sudden one day that they quit competing on that keyword. And I thought, did I win? Was I, did, I, <laughs> did, I, did I finally beat them? Did I drain their wallet dry and they could no longer afford to compete with it? No. That was not the case. <laughs> they changed their keywords to the holiday season, which is why I got the idea for this video. So they are spending money specifically to drive traffic for keywords like this. So if you can, add, if you know that most people, let's say for example, you sell cutting boards and you know, based on your demographics, that women over the age of 55 buy most of your cutting boards, you can put gift for grandma in the title of your thing and you will make more sales to more customers that are looking for a gift for grandma or a grandma that is scrolling through Etsy will be more likely to buy one that's listed for grandmas. Because it's more personal. It feels like it's for her. She would much rather see grandma in the title than know what species of wood it is. Mm -hmm. Not that that shouldn't be there, but sometimes you can play the keyword game and get way more traffic on your listing than being the most accurate descriptor of whatever it is that you're selling. So uh, that's, that's another tip for you is prioritize what the customer is looking for, not the most accurate description. All right, so let's keep scrolling. What else do we got? We found ourselves some good keywords. We've got some products that would be good. You know what I see pictures of? What? I see babies. Yes, lots of babies. Lots of babies. You keep scrolling. Yeah, babies. Even more babies. babies. So the, the top half of the, the web page has a bunch of babies on it. So if a baby can use your product, you don't even have to have a product for babies, but if a baby can hold your product, I guarantee you, I've been on social media long enough to know, pictures of babies do really well. So if, mm -hmm. if you can have, if you got a young niece or nephew that doesn't mind being photographed, put them in your thumbnail pictures and you will get far more clicks. That's just a little hack for you there on, on the, the thumbnail and side of things. And to take it one step further, like these are all people in a family, right? Like it's the holiday season. What do you do? You get together with family. If you've got a product that you normally sell all year long, but you want to increase your sales to the holidays, maybe have people hold it. Like look like you're around the dinner table or, you know, you, the, the more faces you see, the more concept of like family people are going to get when they see your listing. People much are much more likely to click on something if it's got a human in it than if it was just the object. So throw a couple pictures in there of your niece or nephew or your kid with your item and hopefully that will sell a little bit more for you. But let's keep scrolling down. Yep. You know what? Another thing that stands out to me is like it's a lot of these items being used. They're like mm, action shots. Like yeah. the mobile right here with the, the little wiener dogs, like they're actually hanging from the ceiling. Right, um, not laying flat. The baby is wearing the sweater. Um, the blocks are set up to spell somebody's name. Everything is the a picture of the item in use. Right. It's not in a shop. It's not on the CNC. It's not um, just laid out on the kitchen counter just so you can get a good background. It's like in use. Right, because let's keep scrolling. So we, we get to this point where we see popular gifts right now. So they are coming out and telling you on the homepage, popular gifts right now on Etsy are as follows. They are like giving us free information here. This is what they're spending money on to promote for other people. Okay, so Personalized cutting board wedding gift bamboo. They've got food on the cutting board. It's being used. So that's a really good signal to you. Like if you sell boards of any type, throw some food on it because apparently Etsy likes that. Um, the next picture, jewelry boxes, engraved leather jewelry boxes. They're showing them with jewelry inside of them. Um, the one to the right um, felt bookmarks. The bookmarks are sitting on a book. Even better. Literally, it's it's on the page, so you know exactly how it works, and you can see it, and it's really nice and pretty. That's really cool. Yep, personalized um, coffee cup. It's got coffee in it. People can see what it looks like with iced coffee in it. That's great. So you can see they've got two of these engraved jewelry boxes on the same slider. That ought to tell you something, that during the holidays, these personalized, engraved, whatever, um, jewelry cases do really, really well. So much so that they're willing to spend money to put it on there twice. If you're watching this right now, you can take this for whatever inspiration you need. If you need ideas for pictures, you can just look yeah. at the homepage and get ideas for pictures. If you wanna know what to make, this right here will tell you jewelry boxes, cutting boards, coffee mugs, like personalization is really huge. Yeah. So if you've got a if you've got a Cricut, a CNC, or a laser engraver, Ooh, that's good, man, you're in business. Every single one of these popular gifts right now are personalized. Yeah. Every single one of them. It's huge. So again, th this homepage is 
packed with information. If you just peel back the first layer and start to look at it a little bit deeper, you can really learn a lot. All right, let's keep going. What else do we got? Okay, so more boards. We've got more plates, babies. More babies. <laughs> Again, so food and babies, that's the, that's what I'm coming away from this with. Yep. Put a picture of food and babies with your product and you might be on Etsy's And homepage. Etsy will love it. Yep, absolutely. Some good quality photos too, because look at this, the lighting is really fantastic on a lot of these. But you know what's crazy? Like this picture of this bracelet right here, that was probably an iPhone camera. Mm -hmm. um, it's a little underexposed. The, the light on the corner is kind of, anyway, what I'm trying to say is you don't need tens of thousands of dollars worth of equipment. You can make iPhone pictures look amazing. Yep. Um, specifically, so if we scroll down a little bit more, um, these name signs right here where it says gifts for kids, this picture doesn't need to be taken with a super high quality camera. This is just a simple flat mm -hmm. overhead shot. There's no depth of field. It's not that complicated. They just set it on a rug and snapped a picture. Color is really important too. I didn't notice that till now, but basically every picture has lots of color in it. Yeah. Look at these keychains. these gifts under 30, very colorful keychains. Um, what else do we got? Yeah, so you've got these like what personalized rulers. Yeah, that's, that's pretty to measure. Cool. That's to measure the height of your kid as they grow up. Oh, so okay. So it's multiple colors of them. Yeah. Again, color is really important, and th these are outside in the light. They're not in a house. So right. Even though this is a little bit of a staged photo, getting the color to pop is more important. Yeah. So I'm seeing a lot of um, gifts under a certain dollar amount. So maybe if yeah. you're struggling with pricing, you can uh, figure out a way to make something uh, profitable at a certain price. You can use our pricing calculator, jennydavis.com slash price my work um, to play around with that. But you can start to figure out how to get something under that $50 threshold or under that $30 threshold um, so that you get more clicks on your thing. Right. Because of the people who are searching for gifts under $100, you're gonna be more likely to stand out to them because they're already filtering for gifts under $100. Man, we could sit here and do this all flipping day and, and just learn thing after thing after thing on the Etsy homepage. But I, I just want you to walk away from mm. this knowing like, hey, take a look at the Etsy homepage if you run an Etsy shop every three to six months. Just do a quick checkup on your store. If your traffic has slowed down a little bit, um, compared against the homepage. Is there a new trend in photos that you're missing out on? Yeah. Uh, do you need a, a younger baby in your photos? Do you need more food on your on your cutting board? What is it that's on the homepage that's not on your listing? Mm -hmm. That really quick comparison can get you moving and get you some more traffic because that's Etsy's promise. They are promising to spend a ton of money getting traffic to their website, but once they're on the site, it's up to you to carry the customer through checkout. So if you can make it look more like the homepage where they're spending money to send people, you can probably make a lot more sales on Etsy. So yeah, give it a shot, pull up the Etsy homepage, compare it to your listings in your store and see what improvements you can make. We do this all the time and we're not even super active on Etsy. We just look at this from time to time just to get ideas or to see um, inspiration. We Trends. Do this, we do this for other furniture websites too. Just check the homepage, see what these multi-million dollar companies are spending their advertising dollars to show people and see if you can't make your stuff look like theirs and hopefully you've got a fighting chance at taking home some cash. So I hope this was helpful. If you know someone who runs an Etsy store, please send them this video. I think it'll really help and we continue to encourage each other as we make our way to our first 10K in business. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and hit the bell so you don't miss the next video. And uh, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you in the next one. Ask me how I do it. I just stick to the plan.